Right, good evening. Brett Riverboat here. Uh, quick tutorial on how to set up the X52 Pro or X52 um, for Elite Dangerous to make it work really good and get the most out of it that you can. All right. Uh, number one. Uh, you do need to have keyboard buttons set up for everything um, so the best thing to do is uh, if you say let's voice attack uh, and use the HCS voice packs then use their binds folder okay for instance we go to options controls HCS keyboard and mouse if you look in here there is a button set up for everything on the left hand column so you need to make a note of some of these things and then on the right is uh, the buttons that I have programmed in from the X52 itself okay so cancel back to game resume okay uh, so if you can use that that would be good or just the standard keyboard settings and add uh, the joystick controls to the right hand column uh, also uh, this is after Logitech have taken over um, the control of the um, joystick so um, if you are running the old SST software that's fine but I had to do a new PC build recently so I had to download everything from um, Logitech's website so uh, for absolute newbies you need to go to settings devices devices and printers and then right click on the X52 Pro game controller settings properties and then this uh, the experienced people will all recognize this uh, but this is uh, the controls that you can see all buttons presses da 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 okay you need to go to MFD make sure enable clutch mode is not checked see you don't want to see that okay apply okay that is all you need from that and you can close that as well close that too all right now slow down now down here you need to double click on this okay and if you do that it'll bring this menu up which is the new Logitech thing basically it's the SST software but Logitech have uh, decorated it with their own crap uh, not this new Logitech you guys are really good uh, programming okay you'll probably have this view to start off with okay you need to change views to grid view now you need to delete you got six modes you need to delete modes four five and six which is mode one plus pinky uh, yes we will delete it yes and yes okay so now we're set with three modes now those modes are the rotary on the actual flight stick itself um, it changes colors red purple and blue okay mode one is the red mode so we're going to call that fight and this is my personal setup you could do anything you want but this is just how to get the best out of the stick now in here is a set of macros this is why you need to know what key buttons do what so under press repeat ignore and then release so when you rotate it and it turns red what you want to do is you want to deploy your guns which is U button and then you want uh, full power to your systems with a little bit in weapons so we're going to reset the pips right left 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 now these numbers here represent the timings and we don't want 9.446 seconds until the last button's pressed so what we're going to do is we're going to right click quantize time and change that to 0.01 .01 seconds click OK now on release we want the guns to be put away so you press the gun button again U so it presses and depresses as you can see with the little symbols quantize time to 0.01 OK then click OK so that is mode 1 done now here what it's done is it's picked up fight again and it's picked up fight again but we want no fallback which means it's not going to go back to mode 1 alright now we're going to change it to flight so this is your day-to-day -day flying around you know uh, super cruise etc etc so we're going to call that and the command name is what actually shows up in the little display so you're going to type flight and now for flying around we want most of our power into systems with a little bit sorry most of our power into uh, engines with a little bit into systems so we're going to go down left up 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 because it puts a little bit in system and then the rest into engines 0.01 quantize time 
don't need anything on release so click OK as you can see it's still fallen back mode 3 has fallen back onto mode 1 so we're going to go no fallback uh, we're going to call this one landing and in here what we want to do is again we want to call it landing we want uh, the landing gear to come out which is I for me and the HTS voice packs L for the lights to come on and we want all of our power into systems with a bit into engines for maneuverability because obviously you don't want to crash and burn so we're going to go down, up, left, left, left right click quantize time 0 0.01 okay and then on release we want to put the landing gear away and switch the lights off so I, L right click quantize time 0 0.01 click OK OK so we've got it all set up now what we want to do is we want to test the profile so now if I rotate to the red there we go it's pressed U which means the, the, the guns have come out and it's gone down right left 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 so all the power is into systems I'm going to rotate it into the middle so it's pressed U again to put the guns away down left up 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 which means all the power is to engines and then I'm going to rotate it down for landing I L so that's landing gear and lights and then all the power into uh, systems so we know the device has not been profiled because we're now going to profile it okay and we need to save it so let's call it blah blah okay there we go and you click on it again and it sends it to the stick so now if you look in your uh, little display you'll see it says blah or whatever you called it go back to the game rotate there we go landing gear has uh, been retracted systems and engines are done now we're going to go to weapons the fight so weapons have come out full power system with a bit in weapons rotate back to flight there we go guns are away job done and that is basically it there are other things you can do so now I'm going to open up my profile riverboat okay and so we've got lots going on um, so here as you can see I've got fight general landing uh, called it general um, so throttle hat uh, this is my magic pips so if I look here you can see basically uh, with a flick of a switch on the throttle hat um, I can have pips set into certain places which I rather like down here now the rotary uh, the rotary this rotary is the one around the E button and I've called it zoom so um, there you go you can click on edit bands and you can decide how far apart you want the gaps okay but basically um, it will press the page down and page up buttons um, to increase or decrease zoom and then what else have we got we've got the precision slider here which is the little slider um, just above the uh, uh, mouse button and I've got those set up so as you can see it's from 0 to 15% um, what I've got in here is W which is forward thrust um, so if I push it forward it keeps the W finger pressed down and then when you pull it back from the 15% into like 30 40 whatever then it releases the button and then the same uh, for down here so all this gap in here 15% to 85% which is most of the movement of the slider it's not going to happen nothing's going to do anything at all one other thing that I quite like here as well is uh, if I can find it or if, well, what you can do is you can press the button and then it appears so here we go wingman target so if I'm in a combat zone and I've got a wingman uh, button number eight is wingman number one so it'll be the first one on the left if you're running a wing of four it'll be the first one on the left okay so it will select the wingman and then button E will be his target so literally all I need to do is press that button once and it will target my wingman's target and I'll be able to target uh, whatever he's doing straight away and give him a hand and that is basically it you can have certain things programmed for certain um, uh, for your certain modes so if you wanted to remove the boost ability you can do um, although if your landing gear is down you don't have to remove the boost because you can't boost with the landing gear down anyway 
Um, that is how you set up the X52 Pro. Okay, so feel free to get in touch with me, uh, Rob Hooper on Facebook, um, and if you need any more help, uh, let me know, and I can hopefully give you a hand. Anyway, fly safe, commanders.